Hi everyone, I'm Ricky and you've entered the realm of colour. Today's video is about painting Necron weapons in the classic green style. I've painted the lower part already just to show what we're aiming for. I was going to paint the larger blade in the same way, so alternating from light to dark along the whole blade length. I think I'm going to stick with edge highlight in each area instead. As you can see I've done the actual blade with white highlights and the middle section where I imagine the power coming from using yellow highlights. Starting from a black undercoat, I give the entire blade a base coat of Caliban Green, including the central area. To get a nice solid base coat, we'll, as usual, need two to three coats. Straight onto the first highlight, I'm using Warpstone Glow. I do find it doesn't coat very well, I'm not sure if it's just a bad batch of my paints or if it's actually the actual colour. So, I do a few coats of this. I'm just doing some solid thick edge highlights. Don't worry if the transition between the colors look harsh. We'll sort that out later with some glazes. Once the first coat is dried, I go over with a second coat, but applied slightly thinner than the first coat. You can see here, the top blade facing upwards towards our imagined light source has a thicker highlight than the other side, which would be a bit more in shadow. Second highlight's done with Mood Green. These are thinner than the first highlights, and again, just follow around the edges. This is a style games workshop generally used on their box art minis, which are commonly referred to as the Ever Metal style, named after their painting team. I feel this style is a great way to show off all details, even if it's not always the most realistic look. Once the highlight is done, I also do a glaze of moot green to blend in the highlight. Now it's at a point where you could stop here. This would look great for an army, but just like the bottom of the weapon, I'm going to push the colours further. For the blade edges, I've done a 50-50 mix of moot green and white. And then after that, I'm going to do a few highlights of pure white, but very sparingly, so we don't lose our green colouring. For the parts in the centre, so the crystal, and I'm going to say energy tube, I'm guessing, I've done a 50-50 mix of Uriel Yellow and Moot Green and again apply this as an edge highlight. On the cylinder shapes, I'm adding thicker highlights in the areas facing our, again, imagined light source. A final highlight is done with pure Uriel Yellow followed by a thin Uriel Yellow glaze just to blend the highlights together. And that's it, one weapon blade, two different style greens, using mainly the same colours, just different highlight colours. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you give it a go, please tag me on social media, check this video's descriptions for which ones I'm on, and don't forget, if you did enjoy the video, hit the like button, please subscribe and share to your friends. Until next time, bye everyone!